Hey everybody, check out what I got in the mail. We got this package with a bottle of water in it, shipped to me all the way from Norway. And it's from one of you viewers. It's from Simon. It's got a bottle of water. It's also got um, some papers. Looks like these are um, instructions on how to assemble some kind of furniture or from a furniture catalog or something. I guess just to protect the water. And there's also a note. It says, Hi, Jonathan. Here's the water I promised you. Half a liter of the best Norwegian water. Hope you enjoy it. P.S. Sorry if it tastes like plastic. From Simon. Uh, Simon also has his own YouTube channel where he plays uh, games. And he is the cow's ass. I'll put a link to that in the description. And it's uh, the water he sent me is Imsdale. So I, I researched this a little bit. Apparently this is uh, one of the most popular bottles in Norway. It's got um, like a thicker plastic. It's like, you know, higher quality. It's not like the uh, really cheap stuff. And um, sort of reminds me like Voss water, how it's um, just like a higher quality and it's got the name embedded on the side of it. And um, one of the subtle things, do you even notice this? Do you notice anything special about this? I did not notice this when I first looked at the bottle. But if you look really closely, you can see there's um, like a glacier at the bottom, which is really subtle. Um, I, I didn't even notice this until I read about it on Wikipedia. Just a really subtle glacier on the bottom. Because, you know, all bottles have that little butt on the bottom of it. But they actually decided to use it for something, which I think is an interesting idea. And... Um, I don't know what the bottle says, to be honest, because I don't speak Norwegian, but I will read a little bit about it um, just from their, from their Facebook page, which I used Google Translate to translate. It says, Body gets enough water. You are ready for anything. For thousands of years, the crystal clear waters poured from the Imsdakken at the foot of Rodan, untouched and natural. We drain it directly from the source of the bottle, so clean, fresh, and natural, that only nature itself can make it. Um, so that's pretty much all I know about the water. Um, I also see on another website that there is a glass version for, like, really high-end restaurants, which makes sense. You don't really want glass in, like, a grocery store because it'll fall and, um, and crack and whatnot. Um, but it's nice at a high-end restaurant. So let's open it up. I'm not really sure why Simon warned me. He said, it, sorry if it tastes like plastic. And maybe that means, like, because when, he, when it tra is being transported so far, maybe it heats up and tastes like plastic. Or maybe it's known for tasting like plastic. Or maybe I've complained about water tasting like plastic before. Anyway, this is the uh, first time I'm trying this. Imsdale, here we go. Mm, it's good water. So it's, uh, I guess, directly from the source. Here's another interesting thing. It's really good water, first of all. Another interesting thing is I searched YouTube for Imsdale water, and there were, like, a couple official commercials from them where it's, like, a lot of, like, a post-apocalyptic post commercials that are officially from Imsdale where it's, like, a woman opens a safe and she takes the, the Imsdale instead of instead of a bunch of money or like a woman is uh, robbed and she only cares about the water in her purse instead of the money and stuff like that but an interesting thing is there were tons and tons of um, like homemade amateur commercials for Imsdale I'm not, I'm not sure what's up with that I just thought that was interesting maybe they had like a some kind of commercial contest for Imsdale in the past or something. Or maybe it's like a meme for Norwegian people to make Imsdale commercials for some reason. I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. Oh, 
Mm. Yeah, it's good. Um, you know, there's a slight taste of plastic, but not not really um, in a bad way. I mean, okay, I'm going to um, try to read this a little bit. I'm, I'm going to mess up every word, I'm sure, but I'm just going to do it for fun. Glad I bar Eller Farskin. Prove Oxen uh, of Imsdale. Naturalig Smastate Varlinter Imsdale dot NO Imsdale I Trumpskin Avar Ha Der Trufskinler Vunit Stimmit Firm I Omsendel for fun, Ave Runed <laughs> Er per egg nutric. I probably mispronounced every single one of those words, I'm sorry, but let's finish it up. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, it's good water. Um and the reason I'm not doing a versus video, which I've been doing lately, is because um, he only sent me one. So if it did make it to the next round, I wouldn't have another bottle to um, use for the next round. So I'm, I'm not doing a, a comparison video to anything else. Here's the lid, too. It says Imsdale on the top. Nothing really special about it, but... There's also like a, a blue tint to it. If you compare it to the white wall, you can see it's a little bit darker than it. Which is um, not really good or bad, just interesting. Yeah, well, I compare. I, it's kind of like um, Evian. It's, yeah, it's similar taste to that. I'd give it like um. Nine out of ten. You know, there's a slight plasticky taste, but maybe it's just from like you know being shipped here in a UPS truck. Maybe it heated up and got the plastic taste from that or something. Yeah, but I mean nine out of ten. It's a good rating. It's still pretty good. If I'm ever if I'm ever in Norway, I'll um buy another bottle, test it out myself. You know, from the from the source. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks, Simon. Check out his channel. Thanks for watching.